Peru has officially received the first three out of nine Sikorsky UH-60 Black Hawk helicopters from the United States, marking a significant step in strengthening its counter-narcotics efforts. This transfer, finalized in August 2024, is part of a government-to-government -government agreement between the U.S. and Peru. The helicopters, which were previously used by the U.S. Department of State, were delivered in a striking gray color scheme with burgundy trim. One of the helicopters is identified as the former U.S. Army UH-60A-88-26027, to which had been redesignated under the Department of State. The donation package includes not only the helicopters but also training for 14 Peruvian crews, along with spare parts, tools, and support equipment. The Peruvian Congress approved the transfer in October 2024, with a vote of 74 in favor out of 95, highlighting strong bipartisan support for the deal. The helicopters will be transferred to the Peruvian National Police, which will use them for counter-narcotics and other tactical operations. This donation is a major part of Peru's efforts to combat illegal drug trafficking, which remains a significant challenge in the country. The helicopters will be integrated into the PNP's Aviation Directorate, aligning with the Ministry of the Interior Strategic Goals. Congresswoman Oristila Obando Morgan noted that this move is in line with the country's broader strategy to fight organized crime and drug trafficking. The agreement also includes a five-year transition plan, during which the U.S. will provide maintenance, training, and quality control support. After this period, Peru will assume full responsibility for the helicopters, with the cost of the program reaching $20 million annually by the fifth year. Peru's financial contribution will gradually increase from $4 million in the second year to the full amount by the end of the transition. This transfer is part of a larger initiative that began back in 2018, with discussions initially focused on a donation of 15 UH-1HUE helicopters. However, after extensive negotiations, the U.S. offered the more advanced UH-60 Black Hawks instead, which are expected to provide superior performance for Peru's operational needs. The helicopters will play a key role in not only counter-narcotics operations but also military, rescue, and tactical support missions. This partnership between the U.S. and Peru highlights the ongoing cooperation in the fight against organized crime and the strengthening of bilateral relations between the two nations. With the first three helicopters now in Peru, the remaining six are expected to be delivered soon. This agreement is a clear demonstration of the United States' commitment to supporting Peru's efforts to secure its borders and combat illegal drug trade activities that affect the entire region.